If you're a fan of reaching for a diet pop or maybe a drink with artificial sweetener, those diet drinks and products, they're getting new flack from the World Health Organization. They're now considering aspartame, an ingredient in the drinks and in the food, as a possible carcinogen. The Calorie Control Council says that this sweetener is found in about 6,000 products, including Diet Coke. Cleveland Clinic oncologist Dr. Dale Shepard is here to weigh in on the new assessment. Thank you for taking the time, doctor. Absolutely. Yes, do you believe people need to watch the amount of aspartame that they consume? Well, I think it's important that people watch the amount of pretty much anything that they're eating and drinking. I think for perspective, um, with the aspartame, you mentioned diet sodas. Um, what we're talking about is a level that would be something like 10 or more cans of a diet soda a day to put you at significant risk. Now, let's say you have these occasionally. Should you also consider any other risks or is it okay to have maybe one a week or one a month? Oh, I mean, I think that, um, you know, when we think about and we put this in perspective, the World Health Organization says that there are things that are actual carcinogens. Those are things like tobacco smoking and alcohol, excessive alcohol consumption. And then there are probable carcinogens, things that would probably cause cancer. And we know things like red meat, for instance, and colon cancer, there's a really strong association. This is actually possibly associated with cancer. And so it's a far lower bar. And so occasional diet sodas, I think, is, would be perfectly fine. Okay, now the sweetener has been around for about uh, a few decades since the 1970s. So who do you, what do you think the WHO is, is doing here? Do you think they're being more aggressive and trying to lower health risks? What do you think they're up to? Yeah, I mean, I think that's really an important thing that they're contributing and, and that's making people realize risks. And I think that an important thing from a study like this and or an announcement like this is really just to have a step back and say, what are we doing? Are we doing the types of things that are necessary to lower our risk in general? It's sometimes less about whether we avoid a diet soda, but more about healthy living. As a doctor, I'm wondering what types of cancers you do see that could be linked to the artificial sweeteners. Let's say they're really prevalent in someone's diet. Yeah, so the, the study that really sort of led up to this announcement um, really found an increased risk of what we call obesity-related cancers. That would be things like breast cancer, prostate cancer, gastric cancer, um, endometrial cancer. Um, so there did tend to be more over, uh, more um, obesity-related cancers. Oh, my. Now, would you say people need to steer clear of certain products that contain aspartame, or do you think that maybe moderation is just the key? I think really moderation is the key. Um, you know, as you mentioned, um, there are so many different products that have um, aspartame, it's an, it's hard to entirely eliminate that. And when you think about alternatives, uh, if you were to do things like sugar, well, that can also lead to things like obesity mm -hmm. um, that could increase the risk of those very same cancers. So you really just have to practice moderation. Yeah, I think folks trying to monitor their diet, they're saying, well, what's the lesser of two evils? The real sugar, the artificial, just looking for a healthier version. Now, when it comes to our diet overall, what would you say is the key to avoiding cancers that can be triggered by what we put into our body? You know, I think really the important thing is, is a heart-healthy diet. Um, trying to eliminate excess sugars, fruits, vegetables. Um, you know, really those, a heart-healthy diet will be good for minimizing risk for cancer, but also for things like hypertension and, and heart disease. All right, we definitely want to stay healthy. Doctor, thank you for helping us out with this and for answering our question. This was making some headlines, so we thought we'd bring you in. Appreciate your time. Happy to help.